Hey everyone, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to be talking about the RoomKit Pro codec and how to do video composition with this codec. Uh, I am coming to you through that system today, so I'm recording it with that system hooked up to a game capture card, which I have links to all that stuff in the video description if you want to check it out. Uh, anyway, I am using a P60 camera in presenter track mode, so as I move around you'll notice the camera uh, should the shot follows me. I also have another P60 to zoom in on the Raspberry Pi computer I have on the desk here. Uh, and if I sit down, you'll notice I also have a GoPro hooked up and a laptop hooked up. So I have four different inputs to bring into this call or into this uh, you know, video composition session. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple examples of what that looks like. Let's dive in and check it out right now. All right, so for my first example, I want to show you a uh, equal layout. I'm going to take two different video feeds and put them together on the screen. Of course, right now you're seeing me uh, entirely. I'm actually going to take the input of this GoPro and we're going to use it to zoom in on this Raspberry Pi computer. Let's do it right now. So there you go. You get two different inputs, uh, both the main camera input as well as this uh, additional, uh, additional camera input. This could really be anything that has an HDMI output to it. It could be a PC, it could be some type of medical scope device or piece of diagnostic equipment. In this case, it happens to be a, you know, a couple hundred dollar GoPro camera instead of something much more sophisticated, but uh, you should, you get the idea. Next, I'm going to add another level of input, and that is uh, the P60 that is zoomed in on this uh, Raspberry Pi as well. Let's check it out now. So there you see it. I have uh, both views available. Uh, you can see the uh, the subject here from multiple angles. Layout on the screen, it does have black on the bottom where there's some extra space. That extra space will be taken up when I add the fourth input, which is my PC. Let's check that out right now as well. Cool, so there you go, a full screen, four images all put together. Uh, again, live video feeds. Uh, or content feeds and I can have motion and, and all of that on all of them at the same time. Um, so a great way to take a, uh, a room where you might be doing a demo or you might have multiple people speaking or you might have something like that going on and really enhance that video experience for the folks on the far end who are you know watching and uh, consuming the content, consuming the training or consuming the demo of a physical product as I'm kind of doing here. Next, let's check out, uh, instead of the equal view, let's check out um, a large primary display with a film strip underneath. Uh, it's relatively easy to change. I'm just going to press the, uh, the button to toggle it on the Touch 10. So there you go. You have me as the primary presenter. You still have all of your other feeds uh, underneath, and they are uh, active and, and working. So just a different way to do the layout. Now the, the image that's selected first, uh, at least with this macro, is uh, the primary, right? So the P60 with uh, the view of myself was on first. It's the primary. Second is uh, this view uh, here, the, uh, the GoPro, then the P60, and then the PC input. Obviously with this macro you could change it and have something else be the primary uh, screen and, and go from there. Next, I'm going to show you picture in picture. Now, this can do only two inputs, uh, and it's going to have the main display, which will be me in this case. And I guess we'll use the GoPro as the uh, picture that's in the uh, you know the picture that's inside of the other picture. Relatively easy to do as well. Let's go ahead and turn that on right now. All right, so there you go. You can see picture in picture. I have the option to make it uh, large or small, um, and I can actually move where on the screen it is as well. So there I move it from the lower right to the lower left. We can actually move it, you know, really either corner and, um, you know, shrink it back down from a, a size perspective. So anyway, hopefully, I hope that gives you a quick look at some of the options on this endpoint to do video composition. There's a number of different ways you can put all this together. Uh, again, I have a sample macro that gives you a taste of this in the video description. Uh, and of course, you can take that write your own, customize it for your needs uh, in your application, and, uh, and go from there. If you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks, please leave them below in the video comment section. I want to thank you for watching. Hope to see you back sometime soon.